Last year, I gave you six examples of HIPAA violations that happened from posting patient details on social media. I wish I could say that these HIPAA violations have decreased since then, but unfortunately, that just isn't true. Some employees still don't know what is or isn't permissible to share about their patients, and it can cost them their jobs, company reputation, or even face a lawsuit. Hi everyone, I'm Matt from eTactics, and today I'm going to share four more social media HIPAA violation examples. Before we get started though, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button below. While you're down there, hit that alert bell icon next to it as well, so when we post new helpful content, you get notified. Last November, a news investigation found an online EMS Facebook group that contained gruesome content. The group had over 23,000 members, mostly emergency responders, who would post uncensored content of scenes that they'd visit while on the job. The investigation found that Facebook had already shut down the group twice already for violating its terms and conditions. The news team that was investigating it had reached out to Facebook who removed the group for the third time, but members just made a new group with a different name. The owner of the group had worked for a hospital as a paramedic, and this was the second time in only six months that the hospital disciplined this person for posting about patients on social media. This time, he lost his job. Next, an internal memo from a hospital corporation was leaked to a news source this past April. The email was originally sent to all employees in March, detailing the health conglomerate's newest addition to its social media policy. This policy stated that employees could be disciplined or terminated for posting information online regarding patients with COVID-19. The organization then immediately suspended a nurse for a discussion in a private Facebook group with her colleagues. Her conversation mentioned that the hospital turned an entire floor into one for treating patients with COVID-19. The nurse maintains that she didn't leak any protected health information and that her punishment is the result of whistleblowing over equipment shortages. Another nurse shared a video with an online publication about the hardships of working at a hospital during COVID-19. Throughout the video, the nurse interviewed her co-workers, one of which mentioned a patient by name. This featured employee also said that if the hospital had the resources that they requested, the patient would probably still be alive. This patient was a former head nurse of a different hospital, and by the time this video reached YouTube, the nurse's death had already made national news. The hospital informed the nurse who shared this video of the potential violation and said that they're investigating it. She also received notices of the hospital's social media policy. In the summer of 2020, we saw public unrest as protesters stormed the streets over what happened to George Floyd and Breonna Taylor. The significance behind the tragedy of these two incidents led to HIPAA violations in both instances. An EMT treated one of the officers at the Breonna Taylor scene. This EMT posted on Facebook saying that he felt as though he just saved a monster. A report came out saying that this EMT was placed on leave because of his post. When posting on social media as a healthcare worker, always check your company's social media policy. These exist for a reason. They aren't just arbitrary recommendations. They'll ensure that you don't share something that could breach your patient's privacy, harm your company's reputation, or cost you your job. If you still aren't sure if something can be posted after consulting the social media policy of your organization, then odds are you shouldn't post it. It's better safe than sorry, after all. For more information about HIPAA violations on social media, reach out to eTactics. You already made it this far into the video, so you might as well like it, share it, and comment below. Well, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to our YouTube channel.